Hello, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to see how to create the fog effect for the lights. So for this tutorial, just we are going to create the fog effect for these headlights. So first of all, let us create a sphere so that we will create the glow effect for the lights. So just I will create a sphere and just I will place it over inside. And after placing here, just I will create a duplicate. And now what the thing is, just we will add the mesh light for this sphere. So we'll get the glow effect from that sphere. So we will select this sphere and we'll go to the on node lights mesh light. And after that, just we'll go to the render setting. So in the render settings, you can see like uh, we need to set it to like on node render. And also just I will decrease the quality for render test purpose. So now we will render this thing. So we got this render, but suppose if you want to see the sphere, so what we need to do is we need to select the light which we have created, the mesh light. And here we need to go to attributes and make sure we need to enable the light visible. So enable for both spheres. So select this and light visible so that now the light will be visible. So now we will just render. So see, we got this light visible. So now what the thing is, if you want to increase and decrease the intensity, you can play with the value of this intensity. So when we select this sphere, here you can see the intensity. Let's say if I give the value to like five or something, so it will increase the intensity. So now the intensity has been increased. So now what the thing is, we need to add the spotlight so that we can create the fog effect. So in order to do that, just we need to go to create lights and spotlight. So select this and just you can scale it and make sure this spotlight should not be overlapped onto this, uh, the glass material which we have created. So make sure let it be from here. So if you overlap, it will not create the light effect and also it will not create any kind of fog here. So just place it and you can uh, like scale and just uh, you can rotate. And now if you want to increase and decrease the cone like size, so we can go to the attribute and here you can see the cone angle. So just we can reduce this and we can scale. So like basically what the thing is, uh, defaultly the fog effect will be not added, means like it will not be turned on. So if you render, so here you are not getting any kind of uh, like fog effect from this thing and see you're getting this nice lighting from this uh, mesh light here. So now if you zoom in, you can see this the spotlight. So now what the thing is, we need to like turn on the fog. So in order to do that, just we need to go to the render settings. And here in the on all renderer, we need to go to environment and select. So here you can see there is an option like atmosphere. So we need to select this checker box. And here you can see there is an option create a atmosphere volume. So we need to select this thing so that it will create the environment so that whatever the lights you're going to add, it will create the fog from that light. So whenever we render, so still you're not getting any fog uh, effect here. So we need to do one setting. So if you go to the render settings and see, we need to click on this thing. And here you can see, uh, we can go to this attribute editor. So defaultly the density of the fog will be zero. So let it be like a one, uh, like one will be more. So let it be like 0 0.5 or something. So just we'll render. And see, you got this nice fog effect from this uh, spotlight and also it has been created the fog from the mesh light. So what we need to do is just like we need to like uh, increase the intensity of the spotlight so that it will be visible more properly. So if I select this spotlight and you can increase the intensity to like uh, fire or something and you can decrease the intensity of this mesh lights to like uh, two or something. So let it be like two. And like, by the way, just I will duplicate this thing. So just I will place it over here. And if I go to the front view, so that it will be placed properly to this thing. So now we will just render. And also let's see, like I will create the fog effect from this light. So I will add some sort of light. So let us think like it is a street light. So we can select this thing on not lights. Uh, we can go to this mesh light and make sure we need to enable this light visible. Uh, so that now if we render this and see we got this nice render and literally I will show how to decrease this noise. Uh, so first of all, we have to refine. And what the thing is, see, uh, like, let's say, suppose if you want to see the car properly. So let's say, suppose if I create the area light. So if I go to on all lights, like area light, just you can place it and you can scale. So what the thing is, uh, I don't want to add the fog uh, from this light here because see, whenever we add this area light and if you increase the intensity to two or something and now we render, 
So see the fog has been created from this area light too. So now we are getting this weird render. So what we want is like we want we don't want to generate the fog from this area light. So in order to do that, just we need to select this area light and we need to come down in the settings. So in the light shape, if you come down, you can see there is an option like visibility. So here we need to select this volume and we have to put it to like zero. So whenever we put the value to zero, now it will create only the light, but it will not create the fog effect. So just we'll render this and see now the fog effect has been not created by the area light. So now the render is looking good. And also let's say, suppose if you want to create the softer edges of this spotlight. Uh, so it's simple, just whenever we select this, you can see there is an option like penumbra angle. So like if you increase this penumbra angle, now it is going to create the like a uh, soft effect. And also see when uh, instead of rendering each and every time. So if you want to see the real time, you can go to this renderer and you can select this or not. So what the thing is just when we click on this play, now it is going to uh, render in the viewport. And suppose in case, whatever the changes you are going to create, it will be affected lively. So we can increase this. So see, now we got this smoother effect. So same, we will, have, uh, we will give the same value. So penumbra angle we have given to six and here also we will give the value to like uh, 6.04 or something. Yeah, that's fine. So see, now we got this nice effect. And next what the thing is, suppose in case if you don't want this light to be reflected on to this vehicle, means like, see, now you are getting this reflection. So in case if you don't want, you can select this mesh light. So just I will go to the normal view. So you can select this mesh light. And what the thing is like here, you can see there is an option like specular. So we can turn off this thing. So before and after we can see, so just, I will save this land render. So see now the light is reflecting. So just, I will keep it in uh, render view, keep image in render view so that we can watch before and after. So what we need to do is just, we need to select this mesh light and we need to turn off this volume to sorry, like uh, specular to zero. So now we will see and render. So see then the reflection is not that much affecting onto this vehicle by turning off that specular. So if you want uh, the light should be reflected, then you can uh, like turn on this specular here. And now finally, suppose if you want to reduce the noise, uh, so the render is looking good, but we want to reduce the noise here. So just what I will do is in order to reduce the noise, we need to go to on all settings. And here you can see there is an option like adopt to sampling. We need to enable this and we have to give the value. So the more value you give, it will increase the render time here. So let's say, suppose I will give the value to like 20. So it depends on your processor, just it will take some, it may take like five to 10 minutes also. So just I will show the proper render and I will come back. So after selecting this, make sure we need to enable and close and just we need to set the angle properly. and. That's fine. And if you want to create a camera, you can create the camera. So you can go to create camera and you can create a camera. So for timing, I will going to render this in the perspective view and just I will render and I will come back. And also just I will select this and like change the resolution to like HD, full HD and just I will render. So see now the render has been completed. So we got this nice, beautiful render with nice, uh, without any noise. So we got this fog effect here and we can save it. Uh, so if you want to save this image, you can go to the file and click on the save image. So make sure before saving this, uh, you need to enable this uh, color manage so that you will get the perfect render like quality. So apply and just we can save this and you can save it anywhere. Just I will, uh, you can select this format, like give the name and save it here. So in this way, we can add the fog effect for these vehicles and any other lights here. So hope you like this tutorial. So please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.